Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about a simple linear model. A linear model is a model of a real life scenario that is um, based on a line and a, or a linear function. Now a simple one is what's uh, a sort of in a business uh, context and that has to do with um, uh, to uh, talk about the cost function. Now a cost function is made up of two things. Uh, if a business uh, has certain costs to run then some of those um, costs are called fixed costs which might be rent, um, salaries or things like that. And then we have uh, variable costs. So if the business is uh, producing a product then uh, variable cost uh, per product um, or item uh, is uh, going to be one of the costs. And so the cost function, if we're talking about X being the number of items produced, is simply going to be given by MX plus B. Now B is the fixed costs. And M is the um, variable cost. per item. Alright, now of course uh, the objective of a business is to um, generate revenue and to do that you have what's called a revenue function. So if you have a certain number of items X then uh, if you have a price per item then your revenue is generated by the price uh, by the number of items you sell. So if each item costs $50 and you've got um, 10 of them, then you make $500 when you sell them. The profit function, of course, and that's the objective of the business, right, is equal to the cost function minus, uh, sorry, I should say the revenue function. minus the cost function. So in other words, our profit function Px, if we like to call it Px, is going to be a revenue function minus the cost function. Alright, and so that's how we determine the, the profit. Now in this first example, let's assume the cost to produce an item is a linear function. So we have a linear model and all items produced are sold. Now the fixed cost is $2,400. The variable cost is, per item is $120. And the item sells for $150. We want to write a linear model function to model uh, the, uh, the cost, the revenue, and the profit. So let's first of all use the cost. So the cost function is going to be given by Notice, remember we said it was uh, mx plus b, where b is the fixed cost and m is the variable cost. In this case, the variable cost is 120x plus the fixed cost, which is 2400. So there's our uh, cost function. Now let's talk about the revenue function. r of x is going to be the price per item and the price it's selling for us $150, so it's 150x. All right, thirdly, the profit is going to be given by the profit function, which is simply the revenue function minus the cost function, which in this case is 120x plus 2400 uh, minus, oh, did that run the wrong way. That's going to be equal to um, 150x minus 120x plus 2400. So this would be 150x minus 120x minus 2400, distributing the negative sign, and so this will be 30x minus 2400, and that'll be our profit function. Right now, um, 
This is how we uh, deal with this particular kind of uh, linear uh, model and uh, a question we might want to ask ourselves is um, how many items need to be sold to make a profit? Now there is a place where the revenue is equal to the cost and this is actually what we call the break-even point. Okay, And if we want to uh, of course find when we make a profit then we need to have the revenue being greater than the cost or the profit being positive. Okay. All right, so when is the profit going to be positive? Well, in this case here, we're going to have 30x minus 2400. We want to be greater than zero. So solving this, we'd have 30x would be greater than 2400. So x would be greater than 2400 divided by 30, which of course is 80. All right, so we need to have uh, more than 80 items sold all right, to uh, make a profit. So to make a profit, all right, um, at least 81 items need to be sold. All right, if it's only 80, then that's our break even. So 80 items, the business breaks even, so at 81 they start making a profit.